welcome back to my channel. So today is the day we are finally going on holiday to California. So we've just pulled up at the airport. We're just waiting for someone to come and pick our car up from us. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and take you through our whole trip. So we're going for two and a half weeks. So it's gonna be quite a long one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you everything we're doing. I think the guy's here now, so I better dash. Right guys, we are in LA, kind of. We're not really in LA. So we landed quite late last night, went to go pick up our car and then drove um, down to Newport Beach area. So we're in Costa Mesa um, and we just stayed here the night because we're gonna drive down to San Diego today. Um, yeah, for anyone who used to watch the OC, we're just gonna go to Newport Beach now and obviously Newport Beach is where the OC was filmed. So I'm geeking out hard about that. And also we did um, an America road trip a couple of years back and we were like, oh, let's rent a kind of uh, American muscle car. And we got a really, really nice car. And we thought, well, let's do the same again. Let's get a Mustang. We've got a Mustang. I'll show you guys. Damn, whose yellow car is that? Jeez, oh, that's ours. <laughs> Literally, I swear, every single car in America is like black, gray, or white. Yeah. And then we're rolling around in this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this car is sick. It's such a cool car, but it is probably just the most yellow car I've ever seen in my life. Just walking down, what? Newport Beach. We're walking down Newport Beach. Um, and we're literally spying on all these really cute little houses. We're dream planning. How cool would it be to have a house just literally on the beach? I like this one. That one there. Yeah, there's some really, really nice houses here. We want them. I hate to know how much we can look. Yeah, we're gonna have to sell everything, all of our organs to get something here, but I, I think it's worth it. Um, yeah, it's, do you know what? It's a little bit chilly. It's because it's windy. It's a bit windy, a bit overcast, but it's really nice still. We're just gonna walk down the beach, just take it all in before we've got to drive. It's about two hours two to San hours, Diego yeah. from here. So driving out to San Diego later, we'll do a bit more exploring there. So this is us for this morning. We're gonna get another coffee and just chill. Ooh. It's so pretty. Where are we? La Jolla Cove, just north of San Diego. It's pretty cool. Can't really see, but there's really cute little seals over there. It's a bit close in your face. Strike a pose. Can't see anything. It's because someone forgot their sunglasses. Again. Are you trying to lie on them again? Babe, look, it's feeding. Yeah, that's what that noise is. Nom nom nom. Oh. Looks like a little bit of a struggle, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> this place is really friggin' cool and beautiful, but there are no words to explain how bad it smells. <laughs> Well, it's to show people the awful. floor that we stood on, and I think that would be... Yeah, it's a lot of poop. There's seal shit everywhere. But honestly, if anyone's planning to go to California, definitely come down here, and you get to get right up close to the seals. Just, yeah, bring a nose plug. <laughs> huh? 
So we finally got to um, San Diego. So when we were in La Jolla, we just had like a bit of lunch, saw the seals, walked along the beach and stuff. So we've just got to San Diego, so we're just gonna freshen up and we've just checked into our place, which is so, so cute. So I was gonna walk you guys through it really quickly. It's just a little kind of studio apartment. So there's a really cute little kitchen area. You're unpacking all our Trader Joe's stuff. Oh God. Yes. Really sweet little apartment and they've left us. You can't see. There's like little water bottles and things like that. There's a little fold down table and a fold down bed as well, which was all just pre-made when we got here. TV, which we probably won't use to be honest. Say hey. 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 I will and use the TV when, it, when you're getting ready. Fair enough. <laughs> um, and actually this bathroom is, let's turn the lights on. The bathroom's nearly as big as the bedroom and living area, but it's really cute. Everything's sort of like marble, a mirror there, big old wardrobe, it's my suitcase, and obviously shower. But it's really cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Little sweet apartment, and it wasn't too bad, actually. No. I'll leave the link below for this, so if anyone's coming to San Diego and wants to stay in something similar, we are back in the car. Sorry, it's really bumpy. Um, so we've just left San Diego. We had the nicest dinner last night um, in Little Italy. It's going to say Little Venice then. Yeah, San Diego is really cute. There wasn't a huge amount to do there, but we are just on our way. We're driving to Vegas via Palm Springs. So we're doing a little bit of a detour. Right, I'm gonna put the camera there, hopefully it's less bouncy. Um, so we are driving to Vegas via Palm Springs. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping in Palm Springs, go take a look around, have some lunch there, just to kind of break up the journey, because otherwise it's a very long drive. Um, but we will be staying in Vegas this afternoon. So this is day two, isn't it? Day two, I'm yeah. getting so confused what day it is. This is day two. Um, yeah, and the reason we're going shopping is because after Vegas, we're heading to Yosemite and then San Fran and it's going to be a lot colder than we thought it was going to be so I didn't I wasn't prepared I didn't bring enough like jumpers or trousers or anything like that so we're going to go and get a couple of little bits so we don't freeze to death it's pretty full it's very green it's very green I wasn't expecting it to be green we're not far from Palm Springs now, about an hour away. I feel like the camera doesn't do justice to how far up we are. Oh my god, there's a guy on a fucking bike! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> nah, he's never cycled up here, is he? We're, what are we, 3,000 metres above sea level. 3,000 feet. Oh. Feet, feet, 3,000 feet above sea level. And have been for a while. We've made it to the desert and we didn't die going through the canyon. Well done, babe. Thanks. Keep us alive. This is like exactly how I thought Palm Springs would be. Just like desert, palm trees. Hot. What do you not think? <laughs> Hot as fuck. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but that might have over there with tonight. Yeah, that is really weird actually. I don't think you can see it, but in the distance, there's a mountain with snow on. There's a Rolls Royce shot there. And, oh, you might want to see this one. Yeah, can you see that mountain? I know the windscreen's really dirty, but that mountain has snow on it. And it's so weird being in a desert environment and being able to see snow. I was just saying to Steve, one thing I want to see in Palm Springs is a golf course similar to the one in High School Musical. If you know, you know. Just about to go over the state line. That was it. Was it? Yeah, that was it, according to the map. Oh, really? It's literally the most random place ever. 
this uh, doesn't look like a real like place. A roller coaster around yeah. The hotel there. There's a roller coaster just going around. Is it a hotel? Buffalo Bills, it's called. So since living, living. So since leaving Palm Springs, we've been in the car for almost three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, and we're going to be in Vegas in about half an hour. Hopefully, hopefully about half an hour. Yes, it's like a four hour drive. So, so far we've done so much driving this holiday and it is really interesting to see all the scenery, but we have been stuck in the car a lot, which we're just packing in loads of stuff in the first few days and then things will chill out a bit because this is only our second day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like we've been here forever already. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get to Vegas. We're just doing one night in Vegas. There's the Luxor. So the Luxor's not actually on the strip. No. That's the back of the Bellagio. <laughs> says Steve. <laughs> and then... You just concentrate on driving. Caesars. Oh yeah, there's Caesars Palace. God, it's massive. Right, we have finally checked in after four hours of driving. And our room is so frigging cool. We didn't even really, we didn't get an upgrade, this is just a basic one. Yeah, standard suite. It's like a standard king size, king size suite. suite. I'm going to start with the bathroom because that's my favourite. You walk in the front doors and they're these really beautiful double doors to the bathroom. How amazing is this? Everything's like gold gilded. The bath and everything. Really cool shower. Focus. There's like a little vanity table as well. It's so cute. Perfect selfie mirror. I love like all of this detailing, it's so pretty. And then this is our suite. It's a massive wardrobe there. Bed and like a footstool here. It's like a gold kind of, I don't even know what you call that. Bed surround. There's little steps to go down into the loungy bit. Give us a pose. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's so cool. The whole hotel is pretty, it is pretty awesome, smart. to be honest. Yeah, it's nice. Here's all the expensive mini bar stuff that we won't be touching. It's cool, Because we bought our own snacks. We got all the snacks. <laughs> It's almost like we can't get enough of this car because we're back in it again. Quick outfit change, back in the car. Um, because we are going to something called the Neon Boneyard, which um, I think is basically where they've got a collection of loads of old um, casino signs. And they kind of yeah have them all around and you can go and look around and it's kind of like a museum. So we are just heading out to go check that out and then we'll come back and sort of get showered and changed and go out for dinner and whatnot. But we thought it'd be really cool to do the Neon Boneyard when it's dark. Um, Cause hopefully everything will be lit up. Yeah, that's so disappointing. We went to, you can see the sign up there. We went to, we didn't realize you had to get tickets. You have to pre-book tickets. It does look really cool. Um, but tickets are $22 and you have to book a specific time slot and they're just completely booked out so we can't go in, which is really annoying. You can see a few little bits. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like a massive hard rock um, one there. Basically all it is is a gallery of just loads of old um, neon casino signs. So it is really cool. It's kind of like a museum, um, but obviously $22 is a lot of money. But I mean, we would have paid it. We were prepared to pay it, but we just had no idea you had to book a specific time slot to go in. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointed, but we're just gonna go back and shower and then head out for um, some dinner and go to the casinos. Woo! Woo! And just like, yeah, take a little tour of the strip which I'm gonna film a little bit of as well. Oh yeah. Which I think will be on your side. 
What is a heart attack grill? If you weigh over 350 pounds, you eat free. Oh my god. Oh, the sparkly horse. I love all these like art deco signs, they're really cute. They're literally everywhere. Neon everything. World's largest gift shop. Do you know what? That might actually be the world's largest gift store. I don't think they're lying. So Steve has stayed at Circus Circus and he said it is very cheap but maybe not particularly nice. Whoa! It's like an actual circus. However, they weren't lying. It is after a night out. Look what's next door. Slots are fun. Oh, yeah. oh Mackey's. <laughs> There it is, there's our hotel. Yeah. Right, so we checked out of, sorry it's really bumpy again, but we are driving Shop. again. Um, yes, we checked out of our hotel in Vegas this morning, we went and had like a last minute little bit of a gamble, which didn't go well. Um, and then we went to um, an outlet mall and spent way too much money and we are now um, heading over to Yosemite so we're staying um, in a little place right by the National Park so we can go into the National Park tomorrow and check it out but right now we're actually, oh my ears are popping, we're driving through Death Valley which is really really I don't feel like the camera's gonna do it justice at all to all the scenery here. It looks rubbish on camera, but those kind of canyons over there are ginormous. And this road is endless. How much, we have to do like 140 miles on it or something? Yeah, there's 109 left. Steve's doing all the driving, how are you finding it? Yeah, it's good. I wish it was a little bit straighter. It is a little bit wiggly windy, isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. And quite bumpy. I thought, I had this weird image of it in my mind where I thought Death Valley was going to be like this straight, flat desert road um, and there was going to be cactus and, do you know what I mean, like a proper desert. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that because it is the Canyon National Park, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean it is a national park, yeah, but... Yeah, I, I thought the same, to be honest. It just doesn't look that big on camera. It's crazy, like, all of the 
hills in the background are huge, aren't they? Yeah, they are ginormous. Even that ridge there is just massive. It is weird though, like you can see stuff in the back and like even though it's quite quite warm, I'm not saying it's like really hot, but like you can still see like snow on the mountains and stuff, it's, it's quite weird. But yeah, that's all our shopping in the back. We only just about managed to fit it in, didn't we? Yeah, I mean I've got space in my suitcase which is on the back seat, but um... I've got a little bit of space. <laughs> <laughs> but um... Yeah, we need to uh, reorganise stuff, like you've got a few shoe boxes to get rid of. Um, yeah, I bought three pairs of trainers today, which was three pairs of trainers more than I needed. But what are you going to do? I do, do just think every time we come to America, like we just make use of the outlet stores because we don't have anything quite like that in England. And the discounts that we got are crazy. Like you pay outlet prices and then pretty much everywhere we went was like another 50% off of the outlet price. Yeah. Um, so that's why we kind of stock up whenever we do come out to the States. Just getting out to stretch our legs. Why is it? <whistles> nice sunnies, babe. Thanks. In our orange wagon, not orange, yellow. Yeah, you really can't see it on camera, but those sand dunes are frigging awesome. They're huge. And you can see people walking on them and they look like ants. What are you doing? You're going to get hit by a car. Oh, it is absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's not nice. absolutely, it's probably about five degrees. It's, it's, it's nine now. Nine. It's really nice and sunny. It's quite cold. So we're gonna drive a bit further up past National Park to Yosemite. But this is our view. I don't know if you can see it. Look at those beautiful mountains. Back into the lemon though. <laughs> for another couple of hundred miles yeah. or more. So this is our last day of loads of driving. We've got like six or seven hours of driving to do today. Um, and then we're staying by the National Park again. And we're, we're basically kind of doing a loop around the National Park because we found out that we couldn't drive through it like we initially thought because there's been too much snow. Um, and we are in a Mustang, so we're definitely not gonna do that. Um, so we're gonna have to drive around it and just nip into it a little bit rather than driving through it which would have been like it's basically taking us twice the amount of time we thought it would um because it's closed um but yeah so then tomorrow morning we will be driving to san fran and staying there for we're just one night in san fran aren't we yeah in san fran for one night um okay. and then we haven't booked anything after San Fran until we get to LA. So we're staying at LA for the last four days. So it means we've got about six days or something. Yeah. We've got about six days to go down the coast from San Fran to LA. Um, but we haven't, literally haven't booked anywhere because we don't want to... We had this when we went to Miami where um, we went down to Key West. And in hindsight, I would have spent more time in Key West than Miami because for me, I preferred it. Um, and we don't want to get into that situation again by booking stuff and feeling like we have to stay there. So we're just going to chance it and just book stuff on the day and see how that goes. Um, yeah, and just stay wherever we want. So we want to do things like Malibu, um, Santa Monica, those kind of places. Um, but yeah, that should be a much more chilled out kind of just a bit of driving and staying in different places and potentially staying in places for more than one night which will be really nice i am looking forward to that in la we get to stay there for i think we're there for four nights in an airbnb so we can actually properly unpack rather than right now we're doing one day in each place and we're having to like pack up and unpack and it is quite tiring um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, it's so good, like we're seeing so many places and it's really weird because it feels like we've been here for so long because we've just seen so many different things since we've been here um, 
but yeah we're just properly like churning out at the moment and then next week will be more of like a chilled week <laughs> Little camera stop. Yeah. Big old waterfall. So we're currently just driving through Yosemite National Park. It's like big old waterfall there. How long can we be driving now? We stopped off in Fresno, Fresno for lunch. Um, so the whole drive up to Yosemite is about four hours so it was like a couple yeah. of hours to fresno a couple of hours we're not quite in, into the park enough that we want to be um so yeah i'm going to keep on driving a little bit more but we thought we'd just stop and just sort of take a look around yeah morning guys so i didn't really vlog much yesterday so we were just traveling around yosemite national park stopping off and seeing all these amazing views and it was awesome and it's so weird like driving from sort of nice sunny one minute and then kind of driving through snow well not through snow the roads were fine but um yeah kind of snowy so it's really really cool but we didn't get back well back we didn't get to our place until really late last night so we just kind of crashed and we're checking out this morning to go to San Fran, but I thought I'd just quickly show you because we're staying in like this little log cabin in the middle of nowhere. So it's literally just a kind of wooden cabin with literally just like a bed and a little table. And there's a really cute veranda as well. Yeah, so there's our car all packed up, ready to go. It's just got this little veranda. It's just really beautiful and sunny today. So we've got about a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive maybe, um, to San Fran. And then we check into our hotel and we're gonna spend the rest of the day just kind of exploring San Fran and seeing um, what it's got to offer. And then we're gonna have like a nice meal out tonight and do Alcatraz tomorrow morning, um, which we're super excited about. But yeah, just a little bit more driving. And then after San Fran, we're just doing the coastal run, which is gonna be far less driving than what we've been doing so far and we knew it was going to be like this that's the thing like we knew it was going to be hours and hours on end of driving but it has been really knackering um how many days we've we been here five days i think i can't even remember i don't even know what day of the week it is let's get it good morning look at you good morning ready for San Fran? i am right i'm so ready Bye little hut in the woods. Although it was really cute to stay in a little hut in the woods, I am looking forward to checking back into a hotel. Yeah. Like the bathroom there wasn't particularly wasn't particularly nice, was it? It was a little small. Oh this car makes yeah. so much noise. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to check back into a hotel. Um, but yeah, San Fran. <laughs>